man, you come straight out of a cone. Let's talk about this Black Panther, man. All right, we're going to get we gonna get No in woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. No that was Tim. That was Tim singing that. Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know that at Tim's, first. Tim's, like, Tim's, Tim's had me emotional, man. Yeah, Bruh, man. Yeah. Bro, they switched when they switched to K dot. We go Woo! right. Oh, like <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Did y'all watch what? Eric Voss. Oh yeah, yeah, we gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna get into it. Of course, uh, sorry. yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. We are not going to wait any further. We, you know, we as you can see the behind the scenes, we are ready to jump into Marvel's. Phase five and phase six announcement is as, as you know, CT doesn't watch any kind of trailers or anything when it comes to this. So we brought my man Clint Coley back in here. Of course, the Council of Clint's is here. Eric Deucemonger, Dion Black, and of course, the Pharaoh Dynasty itself is here. And we're going to be getting into all of these names as well because we are talking about the announcements at San Diego's Comic Con for phase five and phase six of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But we're going to track back to phase four, the ending of phase four, which I think could not be a better ending for this phase with the release of the trailer, Wakanda Forever, the Black Panther sequel. Um, If you didn't cry, you ain't shit. You ain't got no soul. It was terrifying, yo. They opened up with tears. They opened up yeah. with uh with uh what's the name a crime and I was like, yeah. why are we doing this? Looking out yeah, into the man. ocean, like no, they had so many scenes, it's like bruh. So like I'll say this, man. Outside of all the feels that we have for chat with Bozeman, um, and all the feels of what we know is coming with Black Panther because you know the unexpected timely death of him. The part I'm excited about was I can't wait to see. This nigga Neymar and uh, Ironheart. Yeah. yeah. It's like, that's what I'm excited yeah. about. They're introducing not only just two new characters with, you know, but we're talking again, Young Avengers, Ironheart, you know what I'm saying, which is going to yeah. get our own series. But also, Neymar is officially the first mutant. Not te- right. well, technically, the first well, mutant well, is actually yeah. uh, is Ms. Marvel. Well, the way I mean, you not put, Mar- uh, yeah. Kamala, but yeah. she, he, he's the but third, Neymar actually, is technically in the comics. He is yeah. he's the first mutant, mm-hmm. and he is the but third we're get ready to, one to be acknowledged as a mutant, right? And what's dope is is that what we get to see now is a whole different piece of Marvel, bro. We're about to see like here's the thing: Aquaman is the man technically, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I think Neymar, we're about to see the entire realm of Atlantis. Yeah. Like this is about that's a beautiful piece of cinematography work. Yeah. Outside of what I already know about the get from Wakanda, yeah. now we're talking about the underwater version of Wakanda. Yeah. And everybody thinks we're going to get we're going to get. And I think end of phase four, this is going to be the best Easter egg at the end of a film we've gotten in this in this whole like they're going to reveal some crazy shit. Like yeah. we think we're going to see Doctor Doom or somebody come. Or like we're going to see something crazy at the end of the post trailer, so that's what I'm excited about, and that's yeah. what I was looking forward to when I saw it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and even to piggyback on your name more thing, I even like how we first got introduced to the mutation thing with Miss Marvel. Mm-hmm. And for those that even don't know, yeah. um, you know, Miss Marvel is a part of the Inhumans, but mm-hmm. the original, the person who actually originally created uh, Miss Marvel yes. had gone on interview and saying that at first she wanted Kamala Khan to be a mutant. And so for us to see like that's what's now happening in there, but also mm. too, I love how they're handling mutants. Like yeah. we're now seeing that, no, this has been yes. around. And I like that it's not us getting it from the perspective of just X-Men, but that it's starting to become that global yeah. thing and that we'll get that true Charles Xavier as the person who's studying yeah. these mutations and, and figuring out because that's the best way you can enter. <clears throat> him without showing him yet because as they said that the x-men won't be shown nor cast until 2025 for right. some reason wow. they said the marvel deal so, and so how, how do you think they should how do you think they yeah. should birth mutants as in like because we've been in this universe for 10 years no not one mutant has been mentioned there is there's no way they've been hiding for for what well, well, technically, well, technically, not- technically, one the first one that was introduced, and it's sad that it was introduced in the movie, like you said, that didn't come out in time, which was Black Widow. Black Widow actually introduced the oh, first mutant yeah. 
in the MCU, and that is during the right. scene when uh Captain Russia was doing the um arm wrestling. The bear dude. The bear That's dude. the bear dude, which is technically yeah. the first mutant that was recognized but, on there. But also, so here's what I think that they're going to do because. One, like I said, there's so many implications after the blip, right, that it came, right? And I like the fact, like, even if you watch Miss Marvel, like, even old boy was like, yo, there's something different. I think what the way they're going to introduce it is whatever happened post-blip, it did cause mutants, right? And it's not globally to the point where everybody, like, oh, you a mutant, because people know that they're superpower individuals, they're super soldiers, right? So in their mind, when you first see it, you're probably thinking, oh, this is just another avenger or whatever the case may be right until they get classified as mutants so i feel like it's going to be a slow roll into it and everything like that but i wanted to touch on one thing that clint said that i do that i do love about what's to come with uh, with wakanda forever because you know it has like a lot of uh, wakanda has a you know all those african you know themes it's more you know african culture heavy where it's it seems like namor has a mesoamerican aztec style um, you know, like organ, yep. so it's going to be culture versus culture. Like, I think that this yes. is going to be um, yes. amazing with that clash because it's like it's because then it kind of gets to like, okay, it's not necessarily like, oh, I'm just evil, it's Namor fighting for his culture and his culture country. as well as, as, yeah. as well as mm-hmm. you know, that, I'm pretty good. sure what <clears throat> Black Panther died defending his country too. That's how they, they mm-hmm. that's, I mean, that's the only way you know, and shout can. out to the regular body, niggas. shout out to the regular body. Niggas. Namor has a regular body. He represents. <laughs> ain't no he was back. Ain't no big pit. like this nigga. Like he Clint. just a. He just, I, he, I loved it. He built like he got a dad body. He built like Kevin on stage and shit. Like he <laughs> <laughs> just came out. I was like, hey, that's tell Kevin, sorry know. for him catching that straight. Because <laughs> yeah. no, we we all we all built the same. Yeah. Namor. Yeah. Right now, when I see when, that's it. when I see his when I see Namor's back fat, I was like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> They didn't even CGI some muscles in there, but that's what I'm talking about. Let them know. Even though I'm swimming, even though I'm swimming 24 hours, I have no ads. I love it. I love seeing them like that. But also, too, it also makes me wonder if they're going to give off the theory about like the Mayans actually originating from Africa. And so I don't know what I know, but but like to 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 Deuce Monger's point, I do believe. Yeah, I mean, hey man, we in it. Uh, I do believe <laughs> that it is going like they're going like because don't forget with the origin story they have to, like if you if you know I watch Eric Voss of course and he broke I love the trailer it. new rock in the trailer though there you see that you see you see a piece from like colonial periods where it looks like mm-hmm. there's some colonization going on mm-hmm. if they're doing a montage they're probably starting back from eons ago, long ago before that yeah they're not going to start there they're probably going to show. You know where, what, what, how Atlantis even came to be. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it could, and it could be too. Uh, where, where I'm sitting at that is, I have a feeling. This is just my theory that they were a part of that original five that went to that discovered Wakanda, and those were the ones just like uh, the Umbari tribe were pushed back. Mm. And so again, too, or it could be the Wakandans, they were the original one. The, the Atlanteans were the original ones there. The Wakandans came there and then yeah. pushed them out. And so that could be another thing that's happening. Yeah, but something, the, and it, it, I, and I also think, I'm sorry to cut you off, Will, but I also think Vibranium is going to play a big piece in this too. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's the, the there, those are the things that we still haven't seen which is the arms race. And, you know, like they didn't, the, unfortunately, they didn't mention armor wars when it came to here, but there's a lot of like unique things that they haven't really mentioned yet, mm-hmm. which is, of course, vibranium and the trades that go throughout the world with that. Mm-hmm. And even two back to Eternals, yep. that yep. the fact we still haven't heard anything mm-hmm. about the fact there's a giant celestial hanging out the top <laughs> of the fucking earth. Yes. When did this it happen? It don't when break did- down. This is not like something you can just put some fire on and melt it down. This is still there. <laughs> no, nobody's brought this up yet since Eternals came out. So hopefully maybe oh. we'll kind of touches on that or yeah. something. Please. So, but um, so, so of course the 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 million dollar question. You know, we have Namor coming, we have Namor coming on. If you do follow like the comics from seeing the trailer, uh well, kind of look like it's gonna get flooded. Yeah, yeah, buddy. It is getting it's flooded. Going it's down. definitely going to get flooded. <laughs> They're going to flood Wakanda. Yeah. Um, but, Will, man. man, listen, man, the Wakanda joint is, is great, but 
I'm sorry, bro. That took a backseat to what 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 the fuck else, Marvel? So, so let yeah, so let let's keep let's keep, let's keep it in the structure of where it's coming. Yeah. So we do know that's coming in November, but let's rewind a little bit and come. How back. do y'all think he's going to die in the movie? Because obviously it's a funeral in the beginning, and they're addressing that. Oh, I, I think I think the flood is going to kill him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, another line that I think. Gave me chill bumps is when Angela Bassett screamed out, "My entire family Bruh. is yeah, gone." Bro. She, her husband, her, her and son, I don't, and I don't think that's at the beginning either. But something she said has me in a thing. So, hear me out, <laughs> and we we're go. gonna talk about this a little bit further. I think the Secret Wars are gonna be fought on this astral plane. I think wherever Black Panther's astral plane is, Valhalla yep. and uh, the, the dooms of Egypt, yep. I think Ooh. that is one world and that's where all of them are going to be sent to fight this secret war. For the fact that we're not getting a Doctor Strange 3, so we're not going to get to see the Dark Dimension like that, that's the only place wow. I can see them trying they can, to have they secret can bring, I'm a, I'm And they can bring back that. Tony Stark and yep. they could bring back Black Widow, and they could bring back ooh. And, I, I, and then I, I, too, I, think about it: all the ones that died in eight three eight can come yep. back. And I'm a, I'm gonna back you up on that because if you if you if you read the comics, they were taken into a different world. It wasn't our world. It was in I forgot what dimension. It was or battle world. It was called battle, battle world. world. Yeah, yeah, they was taken into battle world and to to have that fight. And so like is like that makes more sense because now they they've already established these these celestial planes and everything, they already established that there's these alternate worlds that are not necessarily Ooh. human Earth. It's, that makes the most sense. Yeah. Imagine that if, if the uh, the current Avengers are fighting, getting their ass whooped, now all of a sudden, one by one, you start seeing all the ones that died come up like, maybe I can, maybe I can help. You know, here come Iron Man, here come, you know, it's yeah, gonna be, be you, know, you know what it's gonna be. You know, what, it, you know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be on your left. It's gonna be Cap. Yeah. He's gonna say, <laughs> on your left, and you're gonna see all the OG Avengers, like you know it. They're gonna bring yep. that back. Yeah. And, yeah. You get, and you get to and you get to mix and match with everything we thought of, every fan thing we've put into there. Like, yo, yeah. that's that's the perfect place where Deadpool and them can pop out. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, the thing is, we're gonna get two hoax. We're gonna get we're gonna get uh <laughs> no if they brought Ed Norton back Ed oh, Norton versus like oh, you are out of wow. control you are out of control of, all right let's now yeah I think that's going too far <laughs> speaking of Hulk, yeah let's hold off on the secret wars and let's re let's reverse yeah. back back in the August we got the She Hulk uh show coming out and I gotta say not excited they released I now, am. at first I, no, am. I wasn't I wasn't I at first but I am now because I now am seeing what the story is. One, I'm glad that they did the CG a lot better in this trailer. But two, yes, they did. I'm seeing so much that has me asking questions. One, we now know she's the lawyer for the Thunderbolts mm -hmm. because she's going to be representing Killmonger. Yep. Yes. So then that means she has to get him off so they can go join this team. But then secondly, if you watch... You said Killmonger? Part, not Killmonger. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, <laughs> what timeline is this? Like, what timeline? The abomination. The, the abomination. abomination. Okay. It's my fault, the abomination. But what also got me striking my mind is when I saw it, she's a lawyer in New York. I mean, in uh, Los Angeles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that mean Daredevil is in Los Angeles yes. now? Well, they confirmed that he's going to be in there. He's sure, in, in the, the show. show. Yeah. yeah. He's in the but, show. But is he there now? Is he in yeah, Los Angeles? They got, a, they got an 18 part series. They setting up a lot of shit, bro. Mm -hmm. A lot Wait, of shit. She Hulk? Wong is 18? It? Oh, no, 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 when they did the first trailer, I knew the CGI was going to change. They weren't done yet. That takes yeah, a yeah. while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they say that they're I, not going to be doing that anymore because uh, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was supposed to be shown at the uh, San Diego Comic-Con, yep. but because yep. the graphics weren't ready, they didn't want to release it. Also, they've been getting mad flack about their 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 graphics for like the past two movies and episodes. Yeah. Like, people been killing them. Like, people was really, uh, like I said, we talked about it, about Thor, about the floating head, and about like, bro, like, that looked it. 
Like it looked like I could have done yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so also Ant Man came out. They ain't showed that yet. Yeah, uh, yeah. They, they did show they did show Ant Man. Uh, but they didn't show the trailer. Movie. They just showed a a, a poster. A no, 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 they no, they had a whole teaser. No, no, no. they showed the trailer at Comic Con. Oh yeah. Oh, but it's no. not out. No, no, no it's no. not out yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll probably get it like maybe a month or so. But they yeah. have. So that have means they showed. Too. That means they showed Kang in that motherfucker. Oh, they bro. showed him. My, my, bro, they bro. showed him. This bro. man, Ant Man. This how you know the shit. It John. Shout out to John Majors because yo, this man is really finna take it to the next level, bro. I seen the. I seen the trailer. When yeah. Ant Man walked up to him and said, "Yo, I don't know if you know this or who you dealing with, but I'm an Avenger." Yo, when Kane walked out them shadows and said, "You're an Avenger," have I killed you before? And that shit just went off. And you see him in all his armor and the new cape and shit because you about to see Kang as yeah. Kang. He had a blue mask on. Yeah. Yeah, and, and he said, with the, he said, oh yeah, go ahead, my bad, Dion. I'm a, he said, I'm a, I'm a conqueror. Have I killed you yet? Yeah. So, <laughs> Doug, we get Kang the Conqueror in Quantumania. And then the way that yep. they're putting it, this is not like Ant-Man 1 or Ant-Man 2. When I tell you they're about to be putting the shit, they're about to be putting the shit. So I can't go fully into like what, I, what the story is confirmed, but what it seems like is Ant-Man, his daughter, and Wasp, and along with the original Wasp and the original Ant-Man are going into the quantum realm, and it's not what we think. And I think we're going to be put inside that micro planet that's in the quantum realm. And that's what we're going to get to see, like Bill Murray's character, the rest of these folks, and really see what the quantum realm can do. And I do think that that has something to do with not only time, I think that also has something to do with the blip and why people are getting sick, why people are getting powers as well. Because like I said before, I think when the snap happened, everybody was sent there. Because I don't, because again, um, no one has confirmed them that Because if you think about it too, everyone that we've seen blip, no one tells us what happened. Like think about it, if you're a blip, where'd you go? Yeah, I think they kind of they say it felt like you you was you when when only person that had talked about it was uh Peter Parker when he had said I, I remember uh fading out and then uh all of a sudden I came back here. So I think it's kind of like a blink mm -hmm. and he woke up mm -hmm. like that. It, it was just a transference of energy. And remember how they said in Endgame when you transfer and when you're going through the quantum realm, time is very different. So even for even for Ant-Man sitting in the quantum realm for like a few hours, it turned into five years. So for them, he, being yeah, the it felt like a few hours for him. It felt like five hours for him. But for the but in the, it, yeah, but in real life, it was it five was, years went by. Yeah. And so it's just like, yo, I think that does play a major part into it that we have not seen yet. But they've already said like, yo, it is far different from the two Ant-Man films. Like this is about to get real. Wow. How'd you see the uh the, the trailer? I, all I seen was the um from heavy heavy spoilers when they showed like little images of it. YouTube it kind of like YouTube before they start taking them down. Like folks will, <laughs> folks, you know, they'll catch that stuff, put it up, and I'm like and then they'll have like they'll have a screenshot of what you see. So that's why as soon as I saw it yeah. came, um I'm like, oh snap. Yeah. Because all I saw yeah. was the poster at first, and then they showed the like the trailer, like, yo, oh, the daughter in the suit looked dope. She looked yeah, dope. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I get that. Y'all look dope with these new ones. I can't wait to see what you know uh, it does. You, you know what's crazy is is like if I see the movie a whole six months before everybody, that's not fair, man. So imagine imagine if I saw if I had saw Wakanda forever and I had no one to talk to about it. Yo, <laughs> like, that's, you know, torture. Like, that's torture. Like, uh, <laughs> like that's just pure torture <laughs> for you. <laughs> Yo, you see the I did, I did. How was it? Oh. I want to tell you, but I can't. <laughs> I can't, man. Cause you got, you got to make me out, man. You got to make me out. I can't do this. I can't do this. Hey, I, I, I can. Like, I, I'm, I'm telling myself I can't wait to see it. But I'm like, even if somebody gave me access to watch it, I would be no good. Cause there's nothing I, like you know, you know what? You know what it is. I would, I would watch it. But the thing is, even in getting access, I could not help but say, like, okay, if I'm going, can two more people go? Like, <laughs> uh, we're about to share this pain together, okay? But like, Dion, we're going to we, we, we gonna see this together, okay? We, and we're going to ride this out to November 11th, right? Now, you, you are an asshole. 
you call me, if I want to talk about it, I call you. I ain't facing this shit by myself. <laughs> Can you imagine that? You like, oh God. yo, Will saw it. Yeah, yeah. How was it, Will? Mm-mm. I have, <laughs> I have an NDA. They say I can't say nothing. Be like, yo, just tell Come me, on, yo, yo, just, just, just give me a hand. <laughs> just give me a head nod. If, if. Man, I got friends too <laughs> that'll be like, yo, just tell, because they'll still go see it, even if I tell. Yeah, them. yeah, I'm yeah. Like, no, no, bro, I'm gonna still go see it. Just tell me, yo, yo, who black? Yeah, man? yeah, yeah. <laughs> if someone gave you access to watch Wakanda Forever tonight. You think that'll be torture for you? Do you can hold on to it, or you be like, <laughs> you think you can be like, I'm good. I, I, like, <laughs> nah, I gotta watch. Hey, Clint. Hey, Clint. Hey, I gotta watch it. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. If someone gave you access to watch it today, you think you can hold on without telling no spoilers to nobody, or or you just no. get tortured. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, tell- I have. To, I have to talk about it. <laughs> I told, that's what I told him. I said, if they gave that to me, I have to. two people got to come. Two people got to come see me. Yeah, no, so we can all talk about it. Yeah, we have yeah. to. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I would love to be inside. Like, because you got to remember, oh. Ant Man's problem, Ant Man's done. Uh, mo- like, yeah. I would pay to be a fly on the wall in the meetings. Oh, man. Like I want to know what the writers' meetings are right now, talking about oh, Phase man. Five and Phase Six, because yeah. bruh, out of all the titles they talked about, first of all, we got we can't breeze by the fact X Men '97 is getting a continuation, and it's yeah. going oh. to play, and it's going to play because here's the thing: people don't think animated series are play, they're going to play a part in the big yeah, picture yeah. of the MCU. No, no. So, so, so here's my theory on that: X Men '97 is eight three eight. Oh, I think oh, eight, three, I, I think I that. think X Men ninety seven <laughs> is a story for eight three eight. That's what I think, and I think if they can show that, because again, too, we didn't see any other X Men except Charles, and in this part, like in the series finale, uh, when they first uh, originally aired, he went to space, so that's why Magneto is now in charge of the X Men when they return. I think that is the 838 story, and I think they're going to loop it in, kind of like how Logan did with the X-Men comics. I think that it's mm. more. So, like, just picture, like, that playing, and then it zooms out, and then you see one of the X-Men that's in 838 watching that cartoon. Oh. That's what I think is going to be. The Demon Demon Naren in it? Yes. <laughs> and then don't forget, and then don't forget, y'all, there's one more piece to this. What if is a cartoon, mm-hmm. and what if plays a part in the MCU? Yes. Like we saw that in real life. And you know what I'm saying? The uh, date for season two of What If to come out. Yeah. So and then we got you know like things like the Living Tribute. Like it's so much shit that's about to go down. It's it's so it's, so, it's, so is it really? Honestly, is is What If really a part of? I think it's just kind of fun. I think it's, it's not a, really a. I think it's an incubator. I think it's one of those, like, kind of like how they did with, and, and, that, and I feel like that kind of got confirmed with John Krasinski for Mr. Fantastic. I think they put that out there to see what it can do if somebody, if how we would possibly like this stuff. Because if you think about it, everything that came from out of there. So not only did we see, because one of the biggest episodes was Doctor Strange's when he decided to ruin the universe. What if his hands? So, yeah. Lost yeah. So it's just like, yo, we see that that was one of the most popular ones and they adapted to it. Even Marvel Zombies. Marvel Zombies is getting its own series now and it's going to be rated uh, mature. So it's not going to so be crazy. like, yeah, so it's just like, I think that one of those, like, hey, we'll put this out to test it out and see what people think. And it's like, okay, if we get that, let's, how do we adapt that to the live action MCU? Because same thing with Captain Carter. It's like, yo, Captain Carter was on there and we immediately got her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Was, was madness. yep, yep, yep. Which also yep. leads well, yeah, me to I believe... The, if you saw, do you remember the last episode? Because again, because of what you told us as what was going to happen in Wakanda forever, that last episode could be very real on what it is. You remember the stuff with Ultron? That could it? actually oh boy. definitely, I could, oh I could boy. definitely see. Wait, that's, this is the problem with doing what they are probably going to do. That It's not going to change. That That is who they are. Mm-hmm. And we'll leave it Ooh. at that. Yeah, that's who they are. Ooh. 
So, yes, I would not be surprised at all yeah. if that. And then if you think about it, too, with what I said with the Astro plane, that's the perfect place for that to happen. Because guess oh, who's man. also, right. guess who also could be there that died in Age of Ultron? Ultron. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he back. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think, like you said, what if and no, and those cartoons are very important to watch, as Kevin Feige said, we're watching most of these series. And so I don't think we're really going to even jump into series outside of that. Uh, besides, of course, like the I Am Group uh, little mini series. But no, no, no. The biggest one that's coming next year, I think it's next year, Loki 2. People yes. forgot yeah. how big yeah. Loki. Loki, first of all, great. let's start here. We're talking about best films and best, you know, best films and stuff in, 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 in phase fours. That's the best piece of Marvel work in phase Period. four was Loki. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That Loki was really blew all this shit up. If you don't right. want, like, great. so, so, so think about what season two is about to be. And you know, it's yeah. set. So, like, and, and it looks like he's working <clears> for <throat> a Kang driven TVA, which I think we're going to get hints at that in Quantum Mania or whatever. Like, Bro, this is uh, of course uh outside of like we, we know like Ant Man and Wasp Quantum Mania is gonna be the first step in phase five. Also, uh coming up next after that in the spring is gonna be a secret invasion with uh the cat yes. from Bridgington the scroll and us, and yeah, and us finding out um about and we'll um, see Nick Samuel Fury. Jackson the yeah, yeah, Nick Fury, and supposedly he's on the run, and that's why he's on this ship. So we're gonna find out exactly what secret invasion ha has going on, and then next yeah. up is Guardians of the Galaxy Three, yeah, which is supposed to be Yo, very it's emotional, very yeah. dark, very like this is supposed. This is gonna be one of the ones that's supposed to have you like, yo, <laughs> yeah. They talking the about theater. Hawkeye and yeah, uh, Rocket, not Rocket, Rocket. 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 Yeah, wait. But then thing. also too though, uh, before before I let you go, do shout out to James Gunn though. I love seeing when directors continue to keep folks that they work with because uh, the yeah. High Inquisitor that's being played, he was played. Uh, he also played on Peacemaker, oh, which wow. is what yeah. Yeah. So I love seeing yeah, him yeah. always taking care of his people hey, and man, trying to bring them into the we fold. We all supposed to do that, just outside of like you know, like look, man, I I I, I got the world. I love what space. you did. Will, yeah. Will, you can't play Spades, but you're a part of the show. Right, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You're gonna find somewhere for me to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't play space, but he's in the show. He's mm -hmm. his yeah. name's in the credits. So I say all that to say, like, yes, that's that's <laughs> always. Well, yeah, you got his to. names in the credits. Well, what I was gonna get to was guys, I, we're talking about the next phase, but we didn't talk about in Black Panther for this next phase, Ironheart. We got to see her create. We talk about it. Oh, no, 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 we get that. We get we get Ironheart. We get Ironheart. Yeah. That's why that's why we left that because she is also like gonna be getting a series. Yeah. Getting a whole yeah. series. Yeah. Yeah, and then of course the one before those uh, after uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is Echo. Um, don't know much about Echo, but just seeing Echo Not in excited. Hawkeye, it's it's one of those like I'll be excited to see what your story is. is. I gotta wait for the trailer for that I mean, one. I got, for that one, I'm waiting for the trailer. I, ha I right yeah. now I have no hype for it. The trailer could change it though. Yeah. Do you understand how, as a writer, how great it is to have a a death? Hero. So now, if their villain is sneaky like a ninja, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like you can have so much fun, like run, and then now the, the, the hero is kind of like like trying to like like they don't they don't know how they're handicapped. <laughs> like what a fun funny a funny example of that if they're like in a hallway fighting and she get hit in the back of head with like a clip or something and she look Woo! at the person like. It's like, hey, I told you to look out. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, exactly. It's so, it's so much, it's so much to to, to add on to because mm -hmm. now she has so many um, and her, like her, feet. Yeah, her mm -hmm. the rest of her senses are going to be heightened. So I'm, yeah, I'm excited. Right. Yeah. Only, as a matter of fact, the visual effects of that is what I would be probably get excited about. Like, how are you going to portray yeah. that? Well, for right. me, it's going to be the production side, kind of like Dion said. So being able to play with sounds and stuff like that. So even like during right. her fight scenes, imagine if the sounds are muffled. And yeah. so like we're hearing these punches, these hits, they're kind of muffled because you're hearing it from her perspective. Yeah, or even right. when she's doing something else, you can kind of see like the different senses kicking in. And just mm -hmm. kind of like how they did with Daredevil. Like, you know, we didn't, they didn't really like, I would have loved to see Daredevil 
have a fight scene with the version of what they give them. Like, yeah, what do you see? It's right. like everything's right. on fire. I would have loved to seen Ooh. that kind of fight scene. Right. I right. wonder if okay. I wonder if they strayed away from that because the movie leaned in heavy on it and the movie was trash. <laughs> probably, probably, probably so. But it's just like I think I think those are the things if you focus on a little bit with mm -hmm. Echo and Daredevil, it makes them more unique, especially into their series. Yep. Um, if Echo and Daredevil team up, that'd be a dope ass combination. I think, they, I think they can't really, they can't really communicate with each other, but they can't, can't they use their strengths with each other. <laughs> well, no, no, no. So that's the thing too. So it's like if you see those pairings of how that could work. So it's just like even too for them, like how do you connect those two to be able to work in in cohes, uh, and, you know, together and everything. Yeah. Too though, I would love to see the two of them fight. Ooh. And so you see the advantages of the disadvantages of him being blind and her not Ooh. being able to hear and how they use that to their advantage. That's yeah. the stuff I love. Right. So let me ask y'all this, man. Out of everything coming out in phase five and phase six, and you know they didn't they didn't you know announce everything, you know, because yeah. we know we're getting another Spider-Man film. We know we're getting, you know what I'm saying? We're getting some we're getting we're going to get it the X-Men. Mm -hmm. What are you guys most excited for in the next um. in the next phase? Well, I know I know the rest in phase next five. two five well, next two phases. Uh, Loki season two is also part of phase five as well as the Marvels, Blade, Ironheart, uh, the Daredevil series, the next Captain America, New World Order, and then Agatha, Covenant mm -hmm. Chaos. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm I'm excited for. Damn, it's it's probably every easy to say fucking what, thing they finish. I'm, say, I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna be honest. What we not excited for? <laughs> I'm ready for yeah. The, no, if you no, tell me what I'm least excited for. I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a simple guy. I just want these films to start connecting. That's all I want. And then when it when they start connecting, now I'm like, oh, ho, ho, ho. now she's gonna be a part of this. Like you nothing. Sound like, has you connected. sound like my friend Mo. You sound like my friend Mo. <laughs> but you're but I get it. You sound y'all y'all. Nothing exactly has like, connected. They have literally created. They, I mean, if, if all these films, if but all these starting films from scratch, were pilots, a hundred percent. And and we talked about it last. Year, we talked last time. It felt like they had a ten-year plan. They had in game, and then somebody was like, "Hey, uh, that's it, y'all. Good night." And it was like, "No, no, keep going. You got to create twenty more films." It's like, "What? Wait, what?" Wait, what? Uh, uh, right now? Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get some writers together and uh, let's start from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> that, yep, and it's like, and it's, it's it's too many it's too many new starts versus like that's why I like Hawkeye because it was still tagging on to Endgame. That's why I like um, WandaVision because it still was a tag on to the other one, but it's still continuing. So those felt or get L Loki was a continuation from Endgame. So it was like everything that was a continuation, but still kind of helped the MCU. That's why I loved about it. So well, I hate the ones that. Maybe it's a better way to look at it like this, though. Let's look at it as instead of connecting the, just the storyline, you're connecting the pillars and world that's needed to continue on. So like Miss Marvel introduced mutants. So now we yeah. want to know. And again, and think about it, too. The term X gene has not been created yet. So now you have that going throughout this entire MCU. If you go back to like WandaVision, WandaVision introduced us to the combative force that has to deal with these people. Because like how Wong mm -hmm. said, Wong is, I mean, not a Wong, Wu is basically a counselor for superheroes. Like he has to figure out them mentally. So we got right. all these underlinings of what the underbelly was, of what mm -hmm. the uh, mythical side was, the astro planes. And I'm glad they did that with characters that we don't really know too well, because then in mixing a origin story in, you were able to give us these new layers that I'm thinking that in these next phases, we are going to see start piecing together. Like, I believe Quantum Mania is going to connect all of these things. I think Guardians of the Galaxy is going to show agree. us from the uh, from the big side of the uh, the space realm of what's going on and the ramifications of everything that's happened. Because two, we've yet to see the ramifications in the universe yep. after the blip. Yep. What happened to all these planets when everything else blipped? We don't know. And I hope to see that in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. So I feel like they're leaving yeah. pillars of us that's yes. going to connect everything. Just kind of like how y'all said in the last episode, like Thor 2. You'll go back to it like, oh, yeah. that's why the ether makes sense. Or even with Eternals. Oh, now I see yeah, why yeah. they didn't show us this dude in the hand thing because they I, were waiting to show us here. Okay. The thing that I'm excited to see the most 
I think. Let's yeah, I go. Got, I got, remember, Let's I got go. three now. So when, after I'm you ready to that, see. Got... I'm ready to see the the what the next Avengers film is going to look like. Okay. Like yeah. I'm glad they called. They didn't call. They called it Avengers Kang Dynasty. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which means is that this is an Avengers film. You know what I'm saying? However, this is about to go or whatever. Who who are the Avengers now? That's Uh-oh. going to be the question. So, so, so remember, they gave, they gave, remember they gave us two Avenger movies though coming. Yeah, yeah. That Secret, Secret Wars Secret. And, and Kang. I know, yeah. but I'm and just the, I'm, the strictly fo- I'm strictly focused on Kang Dynasty because mm-hmm. that's going to be the first one. So, so yeah. hear me out with Kang Dynasty. So imagine if they told it like this. Imagine if this movie is told through Kang's eyes. Well, mm-hmm. here's not the, the hold on, not the Avengers through his eyes and all his versions. Ooh. If you are allowed to do that, there's a lot of Avengers you're going to see him come across, people who need to be put together, and that would be the perfect place, if you're not going to do it in Fantastic Four, for us to see the unification of him and Dr. Mm-hmm. Doom. And here's here's where also, here's what also makes the King Dynasty one and 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 just in general they pull a DMX they're giving us two Avenger movies in the same year <laughs> like in the First of all, same just to, year just to throw that out there DMX is the only artist to have two Come number on. one albums Let them in know, the same man. year and not so, the only rapper not right. the, the only artist I think the only other other artist I think that did it like I gotta check it might be Justin Timberlake. He had the 2020 experience. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, but other than that, DMX, DMX. is the only... So and we're talking... You, you you gave that reference. Both of the movies got to be like like that. Oh, they're, they're yeah. going to be. We yeah. we know yeah. for a fact. Like, I, I listen, I know for a fact both of the movies because then it's like... To, that means that because like if you look at all the Avengers movies, we we had the events of Avengers and then we had to wait four or five years for the next event of Avengers. This time, we're going to get Avengers and then immediately... Seven, eight months down the road, we're gonna get the what happened next. Like they're about to What's, hit us hard. Yeah, it's know? it's in, it's Infinity Wars and Endgame. And remember, the name of these phases four through six is the multiverse saga. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason why I say, even with Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, I think we're gonna see him more, and it's gonna be told through his eyes. Like I think that's what we're also gonna see. And, and, and you know, it's funny, <clears> you know. <throat> Very uh, on point for him to be named the Council of Clints. That's where we see the Council of Clints. <laughs> that's, yeah. why, that's why I named myself that. And yeah. that's why I'm the most <laughs> excited about that film. Like, I'm excited to see the Council of Kings because yeah. it's about to be a bunch of evil motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. And the and only, it, and then I think the Secret Wars is going to come with the only hope to save the universe is they got to go find that motherfucker Iron Lad. And then they got to go then, back to the third. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna say Kevin Feige said well, he said that like if matter of fact that's who that's who they they gonna want to they're they're trying to anchor because Kevin Feige did say like I don't I I feel so confident to pass the the torch on to him you know what I'm saying yeah. to put it on Jonathan Major's shoulders and so it's like Jonathan Majors is gonna play a big 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 role in these next few phases and that's why like Quantum. Uh, Quantum Manium is probably like outside of Wakanda Forever. Quantum Manium is my top because I'm like, yeah. all right, I gotta see why. Like, I yeah. know why in comic book why, but like, I want to see why he's going yeah. to like how they're going to tell this story or how beastly he's about to be and how pivotal to this story. Like, I can't wait to see mm-hmm. that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, in the Phase Fives, um, Loki season two, just because I think that that's oh, what that's we gonna need open to see. shit up. That's mm-hmm. what we're gonna get to see, like the 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 what really happened in that multiversal war and yeah. how he really ended it, and you get to see the different versions of these TVAs and how it is. Uh, one thing because I have in is, we... yeah. Go, can I ask? He who remains was he a bad guy? Te- yes, yes. All of them, all of them are villains. So mm-hmm. technically, that is the one that is like over a million years old. That survived. Mm-hmm. The reason that makes him a villain is because he continues that same cycle to mm-hmm. keep going. Yep. That's why him inventing the one timeline that was mm-hmm. another part of his plan to mm-hmm. stay in control. So he technically is still evil, but the thing is, he's cursed because he'll keep dying and know that he'll have to be put back in that place. Mm-hmm. So that's the thing that he's probably even what this may be around too is them trying to find out how to go past that and get to like these celestial type of powers. Is that me? Like, this will help me out. Will me out. What is it? What is King the Conqueror's objective? Like, what is he trying to conquer? 
everything. Well, he, everything. everything. He everything. wants to rule. He wants to be mm. king supreme ruler. So that's why it's like it's the battle of the lesser evils. And that's the curse is that there's so many kings and he and each of them wants to be the one. So they mm. end up causing and and fueling all these wars. And that's what fuels that, that you know, that, that secret war. Because it's like, no, I'm going to run. And this king is like, no, my universe. So it's like all the kings really are the ones that oh, fuel it. Yeah. Oh. And, then put it, and then also put into effect, Dion, like we'll even use you, for example, and Clint. Like how creative y'all are and how y'all are able to like take things that you do and make stuff happen. Like for you with your studio, for the fact that Clint will write a show and it, he'll make that happen to be picked up or the fact of to go on his own tour and make his own special to the point of where all the details are what makes it fun. There's mm -hmm. so much to be said and such a respect to where y'all are game changers. So take your other versions and instead of you focusing on that, I want to kill everyone. Take another version <laughs> of you like that. I want to try to heal the world. And you keep making these different versions of yourself and then they all come together like, hey man, how y'all doing? And then one of y'all are just like, man, fuck you. And then throw <laughs> that fucking spear through the heart and it's like, what you doing? <laughs> Multiversal <laughs> war. Fuck y'all, I ain't wow. I'm the only nigga in this bitch. Fuck you. Wow. That's exactly what it is, though, because I do always think about other variants of myself. You know, like, <laughs> I, would, I would love to meet other, like, I would love to, like, and I mean, we're talking about, like, different timelines and branches and stuff like that. Like, I would love to meet a Clint who's not a comedian. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, who, who, what do I end up doing? Like, I would love to meet like five different versions. Of, like, what if I was in one dimension, one universe, I'm taller. What if I'm a who? What if I who? I don't know. <laughs> I would love to, I would love to meet Republican me. You know, <laughs> served. That's hilarious. <laughs> I love to meet that version. Hold on. I just want to know what you look like. What Republican like will. Republican yeah. will. Though. That'd be wild. <laughs> But um, I am excited. Those, those are the ones that I would say I'm most excited for. Everything else is going to have a lot of potential, a lot of things to bring in. But I think Avengers, Kang Dynasty, and the Secret Wars is going to be something that is going to, like, again, I, I think it's going to top Infinity Wars and Endgame. But the question now remaining is, even in calling John Major's character He Who Remains, mm -hmm. what remains after this? Like, where do we go from here? So that's the bigger question. Cause like I was talking to my lady, she was like, Well, she's like, This is gonna be the end, the last Marvel film. I'm like, it's no way. That doesn't make sense. They're gonna make there's it's too much money to be made. So where do you go after Secret Wars? That's the question. Where yeah. do you go after after everybody to beat each other up on a battlefield? What's next? I I don't know. What do y'all yeah, think? I don't, I don't know. That's the thing. Like I, I look back on some of these phases, you know, like even like to mention again, like Blade, Blade comes out on my birthday uh, 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 for next year. So mm. I'm very excited about that. But also too, it's just like, where do you place him? Like this, even like this whole like Agatha Coven of Chaos, like what happens after all of this? What happens to the young Avengers? Because it's like, even though I love seeing these folks, I can go fuck about the young Avengers like that. Well, see, like, this, you, this is where I think they're opening up to. And we talked about this way early on. It's like, so we, when we was talking about the continuity, like how is Marvel, you know, like what run is this? And I felt like the MCU is its own individual run. When you yeah. think about comics and when they do like their new runs and everything like that, the one thing that creates the universe is that they do build those individual storylines and everything where everything is, it doesn't have to connect anymore. And I think that that's what we're getting to. I think that they're going up until this point where now we can like, they can explode it and like, all right, we introduce all these. Now you can get an X-Men story that has nothing to do with the main timeline, but it's focusing on X-Men, but it's still connected enough where it's like, if we need to pull from here, we can. I think that that's where this is the movie version of comic books. We're getting so you feel like you you feel like after this they'll move into more of like a Star Wars type of way they put stuff out. Like we'll see stuff come out. We know it's a part of this like MCU, but it doesn't have to necessarily right, right, right. Kind of like right, how we saw right. Boba Fett. Kind of like yeah, how we saw. And, the and that's what they did. Remember they did that with X Men. Like after we got the last X, the, the last stand, we got X Men First Class. Which yeah. had nothing to it really didn't have anything to do with you know the X it, they made it 
in 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 days in see, in days of but future you, past. But I, I mean, touching on something with that one though. But think, oh well, well, that's a whole nother theory. I know right. that uh, that they think that uh, this this Marvel timeline has something to do with that movie too, which is. But I I do believe I think so. I was looking around to see who is a better version. Who's a who's because like the big villain they ended up with is Kang and Doctor Doom. Yeah. But my thing is who's better than them niggas? And well, I think, you, isn't isn't, isn't it Galactus? He, yeah, and they said that's also he, supposed to be being introduced into these next two phases. Right, so it's wow. just like I guess the next step would be the celestial versions, like them, the Living Tribunal, the Beyonder, like all of them, I guess. And even like we have two, like the Watcher. So I would guess that would be the next phase. But again, too, like how we just said, it's like it's very hard to see them getting ready to be prepared for that with what they've introduced to us. And so even from like what do said, even tonight, what you just said about the X-Men thing, I, again, we, we this is all just theory. But in this next phase, I think that's what we'll start getting outside of like the big Avengers build up i think we'll have like these most mul multiple versions of stuff and like how uh clint said like with x-men you had first class and then you have this one where we bring the this mashup together so even for like marvel like her the uh, miss marvel your mashup is the marvels yeah and so like mm -hmm. even like for like loki like loki after like three seasons could build up to thor four that has yeah. him uh, locked in, and that's what uh, closes that out. So I see them moving more into that, like how you said. It's like it doesn't necessarily have us leading to an Avengers like event just yet, but us being able to open up more stuff that we wouldn't necessarily think to see. Like we could potentially start getting a Midnight Sun before like 2030, or uh, you know, like even like the one where you combine Daredevil, Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, and all of them and stuff like that. So. I, I, I see that as being the next move after this these six, phase six. Mm -hmm. I see it too. Yeah, which, so. which I would be excited about because then you you they get to dive deeper into like said solo characters and because mm -hmm. there's there's a lot of dope people who have dope stories that doesn't necessarily need to be told into the main timeline. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, the Jubilee story, getting that story, like right. as much as, as, as important as she is, being able to get Jubilee's story in full, whether it is like an episodic or, or thing. Kate, whatever. Or Kate Bishop. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. so it's like, yeah. I'm, that, I'm excited for that. Now, you know what I am excited for that I would like to see, but I don't know if they're going to do it. I would love to see in the Marvels, but I know they can't do it. I would love to see them introduce Rogue somehow. Somebody mm -hmm. said that. Somebody, I believe, and I think they they can do it. Why can't and they? I, I, I would love to see her get her powers from Captain Marvel and almost kill her. I would love to see that because I don't well, know well, if they, that's how she got her powers. Yeah. Well, see, that's and then that, and that's the the age. Like, if we are if we are able to get a Dark Phoenix versus. Want uh, uh <laughs> versus Wanda on screen, like there's certain things that is like if we can get those, like See, but we we can in Secret Wars, yeah. But now here, but now here's here's see here's here's the the possibility of what could happen, but here's what could also be a fuck up because what you just said in that one. So remember, like I said, the idea is Secret Wars is going to happen on the astral plane, the astral, mm -hmm. world. and so. I think, like, let's say, for instance, you got Wanda there. She could face the first class version of Dark Phoenix. Mm. She could face Fox's version of Dark Phoenix or a new holy recast version yeah. of Dark Phoenix. That's the possibility Secret Wars could give us. But that could also be a downfall, too, because it's like, yo, you give <laughs> us Fomka Jensen fighting Elizabeth Olsen, and we just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So we she here, but Hugh Jackman ain't here. Hold the fuck up. Like, who right. picked these people? We should have <laughs> picked who gonna be in sequel. So I will they're say definitely that gonna, and they're definitely out. gonna have Hugh Jackman in one of these, these movies. Oh, yeah. So that's what I want to know before we get out of here, though. Since we do know Secret Wars is coming, we've already talked about the Kang dynasty and what could happen. And um, uh, who out of everything from not even just MCU, I'm talking about anything Marvel, name me three. That you want to see end up in Secret Wars, cameo wise, anything. It's just like, yo, I want to see them appear in Secret Wars. So for me, I definitely want to see Hugh Jackman. He's number All one. Right. Number two, I want to see, I want to see Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. And number three, 
I want to see. And I want to see. Uh, I want to see the first class X Men. So like, I want to see that. I want to see. I want to see all. I want to see that version of Charles Xavier. Mm-hmm. I want to see that version of Magneto. I want to see that version of of yeah, all of them. All yeah. Of them. All right. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm gonna go with some of the people. I gotta that, jump in a second though. By the way. Yeah. So, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna go with some of the people that Clint didn't say just just for conversation reasons, right? I wanna. I wanna. I wanna bring in. So I'm gonna throw one. I want to see. Kelsey Grammer's Beast. Ooh, nice. yes. Because yes. I, I thought Kelsey Grammer's Beast was fucking amazing. It was great. Yeah, like it, it, he was killing it as that. I um, like him better than the other Beast, actually, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I did too. I do no, too. Yeah. I like Kelsey Grammer's Beast. Yes. Yeah, I, I like Kelsey Grammer's Beast. Um, I actually want to see uh what's what's the actor's name uh that played um Sabretooth, the second one, though the, the oh live live something, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to see his Sabretooth. Because I thought his saber tooth was pretty beastie. Dog. I wasn't like, connected to saber tooth like that though. Like I didn't, I didn't. You, you know. you know what it was for that is I would have loved for them to show him at the beginning like they did, where they missed the ball was they should have showed him making his transition. Yeah, to the saber tooth we know. Yes, because yeah. because that's the thing most people I don't think know about uh their their whole like genealogy is Wolverine was supposed to end up like saber tooth. The animanium keeps him human, yeah, and from losing his mind and and, ter- and turning into that primal beast that saber. So, oh, that, and that's so to him him going to you know what's that what's the guy's name? Uh, what's the uh, striker? Him going to striker actually low key saves saves him from becoming exactly yeah, and we learned that too in one of the comics when uh, Magneto pulls all the animanium out of him and he had mm-hmm. to burn out his whole healing. When they went and found him, he was feral like this nigga was in bushes like. Ready yeah. to attack you, like it was yeah. one of those, like those type of things. So that's why I, I can agree with you on your saber tooth. So and that's why Wolverine one? can smell I, his sense of smell yeah. is always like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's high. Okay. And then my third one, this is going to be way out of left field because I felt like he didn't get a good chance, and I was excited about him. One of my favorite characters in X Men always have been Gambit, and oh boy, that was in uh, Wolverine Origins. Love I felt Gambit. like he was a good cast for Gambit at that moment, and. I felt like they didn't give him a fair shot. And I was so yeah. pissed off about that. And I was like, yeah, Taylor, I think his name was Taylor Kirsch. I probably played yeah. Pitch, but I thought he was going to play an amazing gambit. And that was yeah. that would be my third. Yeah. And I think uh John Carter kind of fucked that up too. So yeah. hopefully he <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, but again, it's Disney. So hopefully he get his redemption for it. Yeah. Man. Um my three that I'm gonna go with first one off top, just because he's the he's the godfather of all of this. I want to see Wesley Snipes blade. Ooh. make an appearance in here okay i would love to see him make an appearance and you know just to stray away again too you know from from the one y'all use i would love to see a cap human torch and michael b jordan human Ooh. torch cameo. <laughs> That'd be i crazy. would love to see the three of them just have a conversation with each other yeah and then of course uh last but certainly not least because we haven't seen it i would love to see the symbiotes be introduced into the Secret Wars, and I get mm. to see Spider Man suit, and also yeah. get to see Venom. So those are the three I would say. If you want to bring anyone in the Secret Wars, I would be very much excited to see. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up. Let us know in the comments below how did you feel about the announcements of Phase Five and Phase Six, and then also let us know too, and what would be your three cameos you would like to see? Yeah. In Avengers Secret Wars. And like we said uh, previously in the episode, if you're going to go check out Eric Voss and the new rock stars uh, Easter egg breakdowns of the Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer, as do said, go let them know. Hey, man, the fellas at the Strata Comic Book Place sent us over and we are now fans because they are always making sure that they reference y'all and what the hard work that y'all do. Um, exactly. But before we get out of here, I know it's just us left because you know, <laughs> we, we all we all very busy. So, you know, I always yeah. appreciate y'all taking y'all time. But dudes, 
I'm going to let you have the floor to let people know what you got rocking and going and what to follow you like always. All right, man. Follow, follow me at young underscore deuces everywhere. Follow us, the, the podcast at, at Geek Set Podcast. Man, we are on this journey of doing the Black Geek documentary. We are we, we're going con to con to con to kind of co- capture the culture and everything. Shout out to Will helping us out with this, man. We, 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 we brought Will into the fold, man. Yes, indeed. Yes, <laughs> so, indeed. you know, I don't know when this is coming out. If it comes out, if you see Will at uh, Crunchyroll Expo, you know, yeah, make you sure you guys, yeah, yeah. make sure you guys talk to them and everything. But yeah, we're going kind of, kind of, kind. We kind of put out a little graphic about it, but yeah, we're capturing the culture. So man, check us out, man. Follow us on this journey. Yes, indeed, man. I hope y'all do indeed follow his journey. Keep that, keep that same energy going because this documentary is going to be something to very much appreciate for all the blur culture. So uh, I do want to thank my guests, of course, Eric Deuce Monger for joining us, as well as Dion Black and the Council of Clint's. Like we said, most of them are busy. So, you know, when we got to go, we got to go. But like we said, Thank you for checking out this episode of Strata.com. But make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the notification, the notifications, excuse me, for this channel. Share the video, share the clip so that way we can keep this community going of black successful men and women being able to release their inner nerds and have a safe place to talk about it. Yeah. I've been your host, Will Farrow, and I will catch you next time. Boom. Oh. You don't know what you do to me You don't know what you do to me